what is going on right now? So Kai Sinat, his cameraman, Chris V, was allegedly having some inappropriate conversations with a minor. Now, here's what Kai Sinat had to say, man. It is sad, bro. Confirm the iMessage to confirm the number. It's confirmed. All right? All that shit is confirmed. And I'm just sick and tired of having to do shit like this. Because it's like, damn, my nigga, like... Now, if you guys don't know, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, Kai Sinat had a party at one of his cribs, and another one of his friends allegedly graped the girl that was out partying at Kai Sinat's crib. And listen, man, now this, you got to really, really start trimming the fat, Kai Sinat. I'm going to be honest with you, man. You really got to start trimming the fat. Because you, you really got to make sure that everybody's on their P's and Q's around you. Because everyone around you is a reflection to you no matter what. Even though you didn't do it, people are going to still be like, well, he's on your team. Like, like, just like, like, I don't know how people are not just seeing something or like an age or something and just saying and just stopping. You feel me? It was just some messages that it's, it's like a, it's some messages that looks fucking crazy, bro. You feel me? I'm not, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not sugarcoating shit. The shit look fucking crazy, bro. Nah. And the shit fucked me up the whole day, gang. Like the whole fucking day. Shit fucked me up, cause like, nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, nigga, I, had a, I have a whole vision. Like, how I want. I need to stop crying and shit, like. Damn, that boy Kai going through shit. it, man. Yeah, my boy Kai going so through I it, man. Yo, Kai, it's all right, man. You a young kid. You know what it is, bro? You're young. It's, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much because it's too much money and you still don't have life experiences. Only life experiences will start teaching you the people that you should and shouldn't have around you. Which, listen, bro, at your age, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I respect what Kai's done. I respect what kind of level of, let's say, I'm going to put it to you like this. At the age that Kai Sena is and the money that he has, it's hard to keep a head on your shoulders and, and, and try to keep everybody around you, have a team around you, keep everybody straight. Because you can do anything. You're, you're literally in your prime and you're fucking rich as fuck. You know what I mean? So... To see him even make it to the level he has made it and not even find himself in so much trouble, yeah, you know, it's been his the people around him. But we really haven't seen Kai Sinat really get himself into some dumb shit. Like, we've seen Justin Bieber when Justin Bieber blew up. He had so much money that he, he was just buying crazy cars and then he would get caught in the streets just speeding and doing all type of crazy shit. Like, we see all the other dumb shit that most of these rappers get into. You know what I'm saying? Kai Sinat, for the level of money that he has... Bro, we got to be honest. We got to be 100% honest. He has maintained himself off the radar. The only thing that they got Kai Sinat for a couple years ago, well, it was like a year and a half ago, was for the whole um, thing that happened in New York City, which that was just the police department trying to like really do a little extra. But that's the only thing. He really is not out here doing nothing crazy or nothing that, you know, we could really say, oh, you know, Kaisen has really out here tweaking, doing shit he's not supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, this is he's doing dumb shit. Nah, right now, the dumb shit is the people around him that are doing it. Literally. Literally, it's his friends. Oh, shit. Let me tear up. Oh my God. I'm trying to chill. I'm sorry, chat. Like, this is a lot of people tell me the live shit, not the best option. But this is the most real you're going to get me. 
everybody tell me don't go live, don't like, but it's the realest, you're gonna get me, like, <sighs> it's the realest, you're gonna be able to get me and be able to like, do my shit, and I just, this is how honest, <sighs> I feel like I could be with y'all niggas, you feel what I'm saying? Um, it's unfortunate, what's the text, what's the tech? what's the moves going forward? I know I don't fuck with this shit. I know I don't I don't like any of this shit to be around me. I don't like this shit. I don't condone this shit. This shit is fucking. Nah, yeah, it's off. fucking crazy how randomly like all, all like it's just like even besides this point, it's just like niggas is just doing it's like why does shit just keep popping up on a weekly basis though? Like it's weird, it's fucking weird, bro. Once you see a certain age, you just stop. It is not that hard. You see something, you fucking stop. And you do the right thing. You feel me? So it's like, it is. What's the steps moving forward, bro? I'm not associated myself with him. Um, there you go. Not associated with me. I'm not associated with him. I got to start doing shit on my own. I have to lock it. I don't want to take no break or nothing because I feel like I have a ton of vision for what I want to do. I feel like I could be with you. And I won't, I won't let anything like, prevent me from like you know doing certain shit and i and i reached out to the person and shit like that and i made sure to, to get her shit she wanted to be anonymous and shit like that so um I'm, I'm gonna figure this shit out i'm gonna figure all of this shit out and hopefully i like do the hopefully i like you know put the right shit together and shit like that and it is what it is you feel me and it and it's and it's and it's so fucking annoying and i know how the internet is gonna be like Chat, y'all done seen me go through so much shit, and it's always like, I don't be doing, like, chat, I be chilling. I, I generally. All right, so, yo, it is what it is, man. You got to trim the fat, my boy. You got to learn what the experiences that life will give you, that certain people can't be around you, and sometimes things like this, you could read it off the rip. There's certain questions and certain things you ask the people around you just to know where their, their mindset is at, especially when you're at this level. You just got to move different, you know what I mean? But... Kaisa not being that he's so young, I don't blame him, bro. I'm not going to sit here and hammer his head down and say, yo, you should have known better. He's still young. He's going to know better. By the time he's 30, he's going to understand. Maybe before that, because he's going through so much at such a young age, basically going through more life experiences than any kid of his age would go through. You know what I mean? Like, this guy has touched so much money and success that there's things that he already gone through that... People in their 40s haven't gone through. You know what I mean? So he'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure Kai Sinat will be good. He definitely got to get rid of this cameraman. And when you start bringing people around you, you got to literally start being more careful with who the hell you bring around you. And do some fucking background check on the people around you too, man. We seen what happened to DJ Academics with Boom. You know what I'm saying? With Lil Boom. DJ Academics and Lil Boom were like best friends. And then come to find out, Lil Boom gets into an argument with some shorty online. And she decides to expose him on Reddit. And what happened? It's a little boom. Inappropriately touching little girls in Walmart. So, yo, listen, man. It's what I'm trying to tell you is. You got to be careful who you bring around you. Because the people that are around you could bring you down. And that a lot of the times, those are the people that bring you down. Are the people around you. Because they're out here doing dumb shit. And your name is wrapped around all over it. Because right now, no one knows or cares about who the hell Chris V is. The only name that really pops up on social media, when I clip this and I post it up on my YouTube, the only name we're putting is Kai Sinat. Because nobody knows who Chris V is. If I put Chris V, da 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 da, people are going to be like, what? Very small percentage will know. Maybe those real loyal fans that watch Kai said, I don't know who Chris V is. So when you're at this level of success, when you touch this level of money, you got to remember, there's always people trying to bring you down. And guess what? This girl probably knew what she was getting into. You know what I'm saying? She probably knew what she was getting into. But she also knows that she could get a bag for this. And that's how this is going to end. She wants to name anonymous. So you know what that means? She's probably not going to sue. She's probably trying to work something out with Kai. And Kai's probably going to have to cut a check for this.
Ty's probably gonna cut a, te- a check. So Shorty doesn't expose any more shit because there's messages, you know what I mean? And that's gonna be it. And this is gonna disappear. But Mr. Kaisenat, when you bring a new cameraman on, if you don't know that person's history, make sure you do some research. Make sure you do a background check. And even though you never know, because people could just change too, right? Motherfucker could be normal, and next thing you know, he becomes a killer, right? Like, we've seen it happen. But one thing I would tell you about life is, as you get older, you tend to start reading that energy off of people. You're going to get a sense of, like, yo, this person's a little weird. You're going to ask certain questions and you're going to get certain answers that they're going to let you know, like, yo, this dude right here, yeah, he's got to go. Just can't be around. But yeah, only lifetime knowledge, experiences will show you that. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, yo. Uh, Kaisenat will be all right, man. Kaisenat will be all right. He just got to be careful who he brings around him, bro. Kaisenat is going to be good, bro. And Kais, people, the people, the kids that watch Kai are not going to stop watching him for this, bro. Like, he's going to freaking hinder some of his shit for now because that's his cameraman. He's going to have to find a new cameraman. He probably got shit on the already planned out with this dude that he now has to work around with someone else and hopefully be able to do it with someone else fast enough. So... We'll see what happens.